Hello fellow SREs, welcome back to SRE with Ben. Today we are going to learn about alert and response in app dynamics. So what is alert and response used for? Your app dynamics can be used to monitor your application, uh, monitor your business transactions, monitor the underlying infrastructure servers and your databases. Appd can send notifications or invoke certain actions based on conditions or events that you set to monitor your applications in app dynamics there are two components that need to be understood for uh, monitoring your application one is your health rule and the other is your policies a health rule is basically just a condition that you define to monitor your application and this health rule will continuously monitor that condition if that condition breaches or if that event occurs then it will trigger something called as a policy Policies help you define certain uh, actions that you can perform whenever health rule breaches happen. So uh, if a condition is met and a health rule is breached, then you can use a policy to trigger an email alert or uh, call a REST API or perform some remedial action like running a script on a server and things like that. Whenever you instrument an APM agent, Apti uh, gives you a set of predefined health rules that monitor some of the crucial uh, metrics of an application. So here you see these are the health rules that have come out of the box for Apti uh, once I implemented the APM agent. Here you see business transaction health rules, CPU utilization high health rule, and other various health rules. Let me consider a use case that I want to monitor this particular order business transaction. I would like to monitor the calls per minute and the response time of this particular business transaction. For that, to create a health rule, you can do it directly from here. Click on alert and respond and go to health rule section. Select the application for which you would like to configure the health rules and policies for and uh, click on create for creating a custom health rule. Let me name this. Keep it enabled to under this section, you can define the schedule for when you would like this health rule to run. When you keep the schedule as always, the condition is checked every minute by AppD. There are various predefined uh, schedules that AppD gives you out of the box. You can also add or delete health rule schedules as well by clicking on manage health rule schedules. This section defines the data set that AppD should consider for evaluating a condition. Since all your data that is coming to AppD is a time series data, you'll have to set the time period for which data sets should be considered for evaluating your health rule condition. Here I leave the default 30 minutes as my data set period. The next section is wait time after violation. We'll come back to this once we set up our critical and warning violation criteria. Next, we have to configure the affected entities. Here we define what type of health rule it is and uh, which application it affects. Since I want to configure a BT performance health rule, let me select on business transaction performance. You have various other options here as well. You can monitor individual servers, database level metrics, your service endpoint metrics, custom metrics, overall application metrics and things like that. Once I selected business transaction, I get an option to select which transaction to monitor. You have all transactions or specific business transactions, BTs within a specific tier, BTs matching a particular criteria. Since I know which BT I want to monitor, let me select the specified BT. And here I have to select the BT that I want to monitor. So I'm going to click on order transaction, move it to the selected space. After this, I'll have to define the critical and warning criteria and define the thresholds for considering a health rule breach. So let me add condition. Let me give a name to this condition as response time and select the type of metric it is, whether it's a single metric or metric expression. Since I'm monitoring response time, I'll select single metric and select what aggregation in that metric you would like to monitor. So I'm going to select value and here select the metric that you would like to monitor. Now, if you see under my business transactions, there are various metrics that AppD provides. So I'm going to monitor the average response time for this particular business transaction. So I'm going to click on select metric. Then I'll have to select the condition. 
so you have uh, various options here as well one is baseline so what is a baseline abd uses ai and predictive analysis to come up with certain baselines for your metrics based on the past data so for example if every day from 1 to 2 pm my business transaction response time is 100 milliseconds then abd will use its predictive uh, model to come up with a baseline and give the baseline as 100 milliseconds so this baseline will vary upon the amount of data that abd has and uh, for the amount of time that the data sets exist since it's a varying data set you can use this baseline to evaluate this condition or you can use a specific value i am going to click on specific value since my data set is not enough for apt to come up with a meaningful baseline whenever the specific value of this average response time is more than 500 ms then i want to evaluate the health rule condition as a critical breach next we can set the number of times this violation should occur for your health rule to consider a critical breach in 30 minutes this 30 minutes is what you have given as your data set in your overview section use data from last 30 minutes and how many violations above 500 in the 30 minutes is considered as a critical violation so i am going to set it as if there are five violations in the last 30 minutes then consider this a critical breach we are done with condition 1 so let me add a condition for monitoring the calls per minute so that click on add condition and scroll down you can see another condition has been added so let me call it calls per minute and select single metric again i'm going to use the value aggregation and select the metric this is my metric calls per minute under business transaction performance and select metric if there is more than 10 calls per minute then i would like to consider this as a critical violation then i'm going to set it as even if the violation occurs once in the last 30 minutes consider it as a critical violation now that we have configured the conditions we will have to set the if condition here to specify how should the critical conditions be evaluated if i select all whenever both these conditions are met then health rule triggers a critical event then there are options to select any if any one of this condition evaluates to true then this health rule will trigger a critical event then you also have your custom condition where you can give a combination of conditions to be monitored for example if i have n number of conditions and if i want to perform and or or operations on these conditions then i can do that they have given you an example here each condition will have a variable against it a b i am going to select it as any since if any of these conditions match i want a critical event to be triggered when you scroll below you have options to select the scope on which this health rule should uh, evaluate for example here the scope is given as the bt average if you would like to um, evaluate these health rules on a particular node or a percentage of the nodes then you can set those conditions here as well we are done with the critical criteria the same way you can set up warning criteria as well since i have already set my critical criteria let me copy the critical criteria and change the values here for warning there we go both my conditions are copied so let me go ahead and change these whenever my response time is about 300 i want this health rule to give me a warning event so that i can take some action on it for my condition to whenever there are more than 7 calls per minute i would like this health rule to give me a warning event so that i can take some action on it now that we are done setting the conditions let's go back to our overview section and talk about wait after violation in apt whenever a health rule is evaluating conditions there are three events that it generates the first event is your warning event whenever it matches the warning criteria it generates a warning event and uh, if no action is taken and if the criteria goes to critical then it generates a critical event after the critical event it can scale down to warning event if the thresholds come below the critical criteria and if your metric value falls below the threshold set then it will give you an event called as result now how this evaluation happens is 
this health role runs every minute and it checks the condition against your metric values once a critical event is generated this defines the amount of time that appd should wait before updating the event status so for example if i set the wait time as violation for 5 minutes if i have a critical condition at 1 pm today for the next 5 minutes if there are no events happening for example your critical status still remains and your metric value is breaching the critical threshold then it will not take any action for the next 5 minutes after the 5th minute it will update the status as critical continues if in between those 5 minutes your metric value falls below the critical threshold and it comes to the warning threshold then immediately your health rule triggers a critical to warning degradation event so this wait time is set for updating the status of event once your critical condition started what is the status of the health rule page this is how you configure a health rule then you can click on save the same way you can configure health rules for various other metrics as well for example out of the box cpu utilization health rule is here so here you see the affected entries is tires and node and which node and your critical criteria is monitoring the cpu use percentage and you can see a difference between the specific value in warning and critical criteria if no action is taken whenever the cpu usage reaches 75 then it is bound to go to your critical criteria that's it for today in the next section we'll be talking about policies and how policies use health rule breaches to perform certain actions like sending an email or uh, performing some remedial action hope this was helpful thank you for watching happy learning